Hey YouTubers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching in today's video, step-by-step -step process on how to install your brand new GE reverse osmosis system. Let's get started. All right, YouTubers in the kitchen now, there is our reverse osmosis system. It is a GE brand and I looked up the instruction manual prior to purchasing this and it required a one and three eighths diameter hole to be cut. Depending on your setup, you may be able to use an existing hole. In our case, we did not have that option. And I made a separate video a few days back. At the top of the video now is a step-by-step -step video on how to use this awesome drill bit, which is diamond coated, to drill this hole. From here, let's go and open up the box and organize all the parts. At this point, I have all the parts laid out in an organized manner. Very important, owner's manual. Open it up, read this, become very familiar with your owner's manual and instructions. Take a look at your parts that are included. Verify all your parts are here. A missing part would not be good. Here's a pictorial image of the basic layout of your RO system that will take place underneath your sink. And in our case, the instructions start on page 11. And what we need to do is install our water supply fitting, as you can see here, which is this piece right here. So let's go underneath the sink and I'll show you what we have to do. Underneath the sink now, got a flashlight in place and locate your cold water line. In our case, we have a blue insert over the line and the red insert over this line indicates that that's the hot line or warm line. Go ahead and close your water shutoff valve. Once it's closed, come up top, turn your cold water on and allow any water to drip out. In our case, it is stopped completely. Back down below and grab your proper size wrench. We have a 5 8 for ours, and you just want to carefully loosen up your water line. It may drip a little bit of water, just be careful. Do this slowly, be careful because you do not want to harm any additional plumbing through the project. And again, just carefully unscrew your cold water supply line from your shutoff valve. All right, next grab your part, verify your rubber gasket is in and properly seated and centered and just insert it on the thread and do not cross thread this. This should go on extremely smoothly and just hand tighten it to properly seat that gasket. From here, grab your cold water line and re-secure this. Again, do not cross thread this. Back at the instruction manual, it's also important to note throughout your project, do not install and secure any of your hoses. That will come later in the project. So go ahead and turn the page. And the next thing we have to do is install our drain adapter, as you can see here. And this is very important. Depending on whether or not you have a garbage disposal or not will depend on where you place your drain adapter. And looking at this pictorial image, as you can see, we have a garbage disposal and you've got the plumbing coming out from underneath the sink into a three-way adapter that feeds down to your P-trap as well as over to your garbage disposal. And the preferred location for install is right there, just above that three-way connection point. Read your directions. You will have to drill a 3 8 hole and to do that we are using our craftsman drill with the 3 8 bit here is our drain adapter it comes with a few screws and nuts and this part has a cushion to create a watertight seal because you are going to drill a hole back down below and here is our three-way connection point feeding to our garbage disposal down to our p-trap and up to the bottom portion of the sink and there's where we are going to install this. And the instruction manual says, make sure this hole is facing where your faucet will be. At this point, I have the drain adapter connected to this portion of the pipe, and I didn't screw it in and tighten it all the way because it's not going to be secured in this step. What you have to do is, again, make sure that the drain connection fitting is facing in the direction that your faucet will be, and at least six inches above your P-trap. In our case, that's well above six inches. And we need to grab a pencil to create a drill mark. And I'll just make a circle inside here. Be very careful. Don't be forceful with it. You don't want to harm this connection point. And to get my drill in, I may have to disconnect this dishwasher hose that feeds into the garbage disposal just by compressing this clamp and pulling this hose off. Making progress, use some pliers, compress the clamp, remove the hose. 
From here, I'm going to carefully remove the drain adapter from the plumbing. Drain adapter is now off, and as you can see, there is my drill mark, and now it's time to grab the drill and drill that 3 8 hole. Go slow, do not rush this. From here, clean all this plastic shavings off of this portion. Try not to allow any of that to get in your connection points here. Just clean this off. You don't want any sharp edges. You want that foam portion of the adapter to create that watertight seal. Took a couple seconds, vacuumed it up. Now we are going to reinsert and secure this drain adapter and you want to align this portion with that hole we just drilled. Instructions say to use the pencil you use to mark the drill point to properly align your drain adapter to your hole. Once you align it, I've got the back portion or eraser portion of the pencil and it goes all the way in and I'll leave that in while I tighten it. A 7 16 socket in our case and a Phillips screwdriver and tighten them equally. A couple twists on one side, hop to the other side, a couple twists, hop to the opposite side. And again, ultimately, we are properly seating this internal foam gasket to create that watertight seal. Once it's tight, go ahead and pull the pencil out. Back to the owner's manual, we've completed this step and installed the drain adapter. Read through the notes and instructions. Verify you didn't miss anything before going on to the next step. Next is the storage tank. We need to apply threaded tape or Teflon tape to the thread on top of the storage tank and connect the tank connector. All right, YouTubers, we're halfway done. Part one is complete. Now it's on to part two. Part two is scrolling above definitely check that video out and finish up the installation process of your system. Below this video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be awesome. Thanks again, and we'll see you at the next video.